Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm back, and we are working on Christmas Vibes, which is a, a new Chow Bella collection, and I'm enjoying this paper collection. I want to share with you what I've done so far. So this is from the 12 by 12, I have to go back and forth, patterns pack, the 12 by 12 patterns pack. Um, that's what this looked like. So I cut this piece off, which left me with this, and then I cut four inches off, which are which is going to go on page three, and then I split this in, uh, apart. So this is going to become a pocket, which I've uh, trimmed out already. So this is you're going to cut it, overcut it, and then we're going to fussy cut the edge. This is six and a half by nine, six and a half by nine. Let's go ahead and glue this on. And then once we have this uh, on, we are going to fussy cut around the edges and that's gonna become um, uh, a side pocket. I've already inked the edges. Uh, again, I'm using, what am I using? Um, powder puffs in mahogany. It escaped me, which is my, my go-to. Um, I like the dark browns. I, I like to cut, uh, knock the white edge off the core, um, and I don't distress too far into the pattern. It's probably a little too dark if you like to distress into the pattern. Uh, but as far as knocking the, the white core off, I think it's beautiful, as you can see. Okay, and as you can tell, again, I overcut the pocket because we're going to fussy cut around it. <clears throat> and I've done this, I've shown this before in previous videos, but I'm going to do it again. I like to take my embossing tool, trace the edge, and that gives me um, a perfect offset for the fussy cut. So it's kind of like tracing, and then that, that line helps me uh, stay a consistent distance away from the patterned paper. So I'm going to tilt it a little bit to and fro to see if I can't get um, get it to reflect on where I've uh, made those score lines. So the score lines are coming around. And then up here I just did some testing to see the width of, that I wanted to use. It's not really showing up. Let's see if I can get it to focus better for you. Oh, it's... It's a shame, but you saw what I was doing, so you get the gist of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the fussy cut process. And I'm going to use my and it. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's very clear for me. And this works also on just different, I mean, if you had a, a more elaborate edge, this, this idea also works. I don't know how I came up with it, but once I did, I was like, what a dummy. Why was I working so hard before? <laughs> okay. Some people are just naturally good at it. I get eye fatigue. And hand fatigue. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't want to cut through the hand chair. There we go. Pretty easy, and I'll show you the result against the white. It's pretty easy. Now, if you feel like something's off, you can go back around and trim any little pieces. I feel like I'm off a little here, and then I also want to trim this off so it's not sticking out. Oops, that kind of flew right into the camera. 
all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Okay, so now this is going to get applied on page two to the left-hand side, just like so. As soon as I find, here it is, it's upside down. Okay, there we go. And then the piece that I cut off is going to become the liner of the pocket. Okay, so when I cut this piece out, I made sure that it was slightly wider than the eight inch page um, so that it goes just ever so slightly into the pocket. Okay, I didn't ink this yet, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so the next thing we should do is make a nice insert for this. And not with that, because I don't think it goes well enough. So I am going to get some paper together and we will make a nice insert and then we'll get started on page three. So it'll be a few minutes. Back soon. Okay, I'm back and I made the insert for this. I took one of the eight by eights and um, trimmed it down to fit so that when it's tucked in the pocket, um, you get this nice framed look. This is also from, I believe an eight by eight and I don't see where I put the other piece of it. Uh, no, actually it's from the A4. It's from the A4 collection pack and it's the uh, edge I trimmed off. And if you look closely, there's the newspaper that matches the edition here. So I thought that looked nice. So the insert is seven by seven, seven by seven. Now we're gonna go ahead and start page three. Page three, I'm gonna pull in the rest of this pattern and then I'm also gonna reintroduce this pattern over here. So that is what page three is gonna look like and then we're gonna have something on top of page three. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I've already got these inked. I need to make sure my pocket's going the right way.
And we need to take just a little bit off. Okay, there we go. So that is page three, and this is page two. Now I'm going to add some uh, photo mats here. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get that organized. Hey there. Okay, I've got I've got some things lined up now. So again, we're on page three. So this is one of the cut aparts, and honestly, I can't tell you anymore which pack I I got it from. I I think it's from the A4 pack, but I'm not sure. Um, so I trimmed this down, uh, maybe I'm wrong. It's the cut apart from the 12 by 12, sorry. It's so easy to lose track once you start cutting through the paper. Um, I'm gonna use this and we're going to create a card um, for this to lay on top of. And then inside the card, we're going to create a pocket. So you're gonna start with a piece of paper that is 11. I'm sorry, it is 10, <laughs> 10 by 5 and 7 eighths, 10 by 5 and 7 eighths. You're going to um, score at, let's go this way, you're going to score at 4 and 7 eighths and 7 and 3 quarters. I'm sorry, let me start that again, 3 and 7 eighths and seven and three quarters, okay? And those numbers came from the piece that I wanna put up here. Otherwise, I would've used uh, more standard numbers like I normally do. Um, so let me say that one more time because I've messed up a couple of times. 11 by six and seven eighths. Turn it along the 11 inch side. Score at three and seven eighths, seven and three quarters. We are gonna glue the two sides down to create a pocket. And if you want, you can cut a one inch strip, score it in half and uh, put a gusset on each side, but I'm just gonna do it like, like this. Okay. And we have a nice little pocket inside and the magnet's gonna hold it all nice and closed, nice and neat. Okay. I'm using uh, this, pulling this pattern back in. This is from the 12 by 12. You can tell it's slightly larger, but I still think it works. Um, let me make sure. Okay, one of these is a little bit bigger than the other. Okay, there we go. Well, I hope everybody's doing good. It's coming down pretty good. I, uh, right now, which is kind of nice. We, d we don't get a lot of rain. I think my husband and I are going to go out to lunch and have a nice comfort food lunch, like soup. Doesn't that sound good? Nice bowl of soup. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to pull this pattern back in. I haven't picked the centered pattern yet, but I will shortly. Thank you. 
There we go, and the top is going to be this card. I love the plaid. Okay, now we have this nice card with a pocket inside. You need to find the liners right there, and then we're going to install this on here. This is my little card insert that's going to go right inside my pocket, like so. So let's find a liner. So whatever I pick, I want it to, to highlight or match this. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I have, oh, I left a mess. Let me move some of this. I was choosing my paper. So I chose this pattern, which I think is really pretty. It, I, mm, no, I'm not sure. It, <laughs> every time I think I know where it's from, I'm like, ah, I don't know. Um, I think it's from the patterns. Uh, but I'm, I'm hemming and hawing because this image is so large and the patterns don't usually have that much. But I'm looking at the 12 by 12 paper pad and I, here it is. So it is from the 12 by 12 paper pad. Sorry, I looked past it. So we're going to do the uh, the insides right here. That's really coming down now. I'm not sure if you might even be able to hear it in the background. I've got a window just to the left of me. And it's on the south side. Which a lot of times our, our um, weather comes from the south. I'm not sure if this storm did, but oftentimes it does. So this is a little bit too big. that put it in. I think it's cute. I love that little bird. Whatever it is, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Now we're ready to add this to the paper page. Let's go ahead and put our insert in. So I've cut these two things are part of a cut apart um, just to add some interest here. I like it over there. And I think I'm just gonna start layer these a little bit, like so. And then I, I'm thinking about putting, making this a pocket also. And if I do, then I want to have it a little bit lower. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a pocket, which means I'm only going to glue three of the four sides down. Okay. And I want to have it, I don't want to have it centered. I want to have it offset. Like so, this is, um, I'm looking for a consistent border in this corner. Did I do that upside down? No, I didn't, okay. I was starting to panic and think I put the glue across the top, not the bottom. Give that a second to set. And I'm gonna lift that up and Add that here. Okay, 
and now we're going to make an insert and I I think I think there's some tags pretty tags in here that we can cut apart um, the tags always have a nice uh, shape to them so I'm going to find my tag papers and yeah and they're from uh, the A4 collection so I think I'm going to cut apart this one. But let me look real quick and see if there's something else I like better. Or if I've already cut apart something. These all seem too small. I kind of like that. It's bigger than I was thinking, but so I'm going to preserve that. I'm going to pull in page two for color. Uh, see, this looks super white to me, so I'm not so sure I like that. I don't care for that one at all. And what have I got here? Maybe. Fingers aren't working this morning. I guess that was. I sure thought I had some more tags. Here they are. Well, those are just rectangles. We could do that with any paper. Hmm. More rectangles. There. Here we go. Here's some more tags. So I guess I have to choose from these two. something from here. I kind of like this one. Yeah, so I'm going that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Put that out and we'll take a look at it. Color wise, I think it works. Yeah, so we'll have just a nice little tuck spot there. red sheet. Um, I keep thinking, you know, I want red like this, just a sheet of it. And the only place I have this red is on an envelope. And I think that looks good. So I may just put both in there. That's what I think I'm going to do is I am going to put both of these in there. So let me turn this down. And I, I'm not loving the idea of an envelope on an envelope, but that's the only red I have. <laughs> Now that I see it next to it, I don't like it. So, I'm 
All right, I think I need to set it aside and come back to it because I'm really struggling. I don't like the way it's looking. So, I'll take a few minutes, go away, and then uh, try to make some decisions. But I'm not happy with uh, that, that red. These two reds are so far apart. I'll come up with something. And when I come back, we'll go ahead and finish this up.